Virgo. <clears throat> this is going to be an X spread, okay? It's to see if it's likely that your ex is coming back. So we're going to take a look at this, guys. This is the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for November 13th through the 20th, okay? It's Virgo's ex coming back. Is it likely that Virgo's ex is coming back? Virgo's ex. It's union like guys we're gonna pull two cards first one for your energy where you are right now queen of wands fiery creative they are feeling left out in the hole we have an earth sign here um now keep in mind and i don't say this in every video but um you know the energies can go vice versa uh you know this side is meant for you this side is meant for your ex but you know they could flip flop so you take it how it resonates with you okay so you're feeling very um creative very inspired um very fiery confident i see um and you're looking towards the future that's where you are right now your ex is feeling very shunned and I'm not sure if it's something of their own doing or whether, you know, you walked away from this person, okay? But that's where they're at right now. What you want? Yeah, not a pentacle. Just to be happy and secure within yourself, to be able to stand your own ground. You know, you're okay being single by yourself. You know, so that is what, you know, this is your card. Not of Pentacles, Virgo. You're okay being by yourself. What they want, I feel like they want you. They want what you guys had, you know, when y'all were together. They're looking at the happy times that you share. They want that back. They want that back. What you need is just to be happy, to be enlightened, um, to do what it is that you need to do for you. That's what I feel here. I feel like your side really has nothing to do with the ex, actually. Everything to do with you and how you feel about yourself because I feel like I'm getting this distinct feeling that in the past, um, that you were possibly in this five of pentacles state where you were, you felt very hurt, very alone and neglected. And so now you're just needing to stand in your power, you know, just be happy with who you are and what you have going on and focus on that. That's what you need. What they need is to get out of this mental prison, see things for the way they are and possibly, you know, see the sun be enlightened you know is what i feel here we have gemini here we have scorpio taurus um leo aries leo sag energy here these are just the energies that are present here okay but they could be any sign okay they need to see things for how they really are. They need to make moves, like realistic moves, to get out of this Eight of Swords energy. You know, really take a hard look at, you know, what it is that they actually need in their life to move forward as an individual. Because being in this Eight of Swords, you know, mode where you're just trapped in like ruminating thoughts and things is not going to help the connection. It's not going to get you anywhere, period, okay? Them, whoever this is on this side, okay? Is union likely? At this point, 
I feel like there is a possibility. There's a possibility. Um, I don't see you being focused or whoever this is on this side being focused on the connection. I see you trying to get your money together. I see you trying to get your stability together within yourself. But I see this person on this side really holding on to this relationship, holding on to past um, uh, the past relationship. Um, and this could be somebody that you were connected with for a long time. Could, some of you could be, you know, married to this person, but separated and you've been together for a long time, possibly contemplating divorce here. For some reason I feel But somebody's really holding on to you energetically. They're holding on to you, okay? So it's possible, um, but I feel like only if, you know, they can really stop and, you know, get out of the illusion of, you know, what is actually get out of the illusion of what they think is happening in the situation, what they think is going on. Because a lot of times when people are in the Eight of Swords um, mode, what they're actually thinking about isn't actually true. It's, it's not real, you know? So it's gonna take that, and it's also gonna take, you know, you opening up to it. If that's even something that you want to do here, okay? So we're going to pull a divine feminine card here. That one wanted to flip, so I'm going to take that mirror by. And I pulled this, I want to say, also for Leo, okay? Mirror by the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. And I feel like that really is you like you're really getting to know yourself like truly know yourself and what it is that you like what you dislike you know angel answers card here not angel answers i don't know why i keep saying that i guess because i'm asking for an affirmation of um if union is likely let's see I need to get some angel answers cards. These are angel prayers. One card, please. Something on the flip there. Let's try this again. Angel answers. Oh, angel prayers. My gosh. Let's see. We have the miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. Get outside. I feel like this person really needs to, to get outside, um, you know, breathe the fresh air, walk on the beach, sit outside, just, you know, take in the foliage. And, um, you know, I think they'll get it there. They'll gain, you know, a better perspective on things. I feel like this person needs some assistance. Not saying that, you know, you were to go to them and give them assistance because that's something they have to work out for themselves, okay? So, it's possible that union um, will happen, but, you know, it just depends, okay? So, Virgo, that is uh, your reading for November 13th through the 20th, and I'll be speaking with you soon.